Okay, hello. Uh, what I'm going to talk you through here uh, as quickly as I can is how to design a mug uh, simply and easily in 3D. Uh, this scene at the moment is fully uh, loaded. I'm going to just restart on the web browser here just to uh, show you from scratch. So in effect we're going to a URL in your web browser which is 3d.golf forward slash room if it prompts you for a password and a username just type them in as you've already been supplied what you will need to do is wait for uh, 30 seconds to a minute or so to load the first time round depending on your broadband speed it's loading the scene it's loading the objects it's loading uh, downloading any files uh, in the web browser that are relevant to graphics and so on so when you get to this point where you have a smaller window within your web browser um, it's much better to make it full size so you can see what you're doing so down here on the bottom right hand side we have four buttons uh, with the third one in is uh, prompting us as it is it's toggle full screen so click on that button we go into full screen mode if you want to go back to where you was just click it again or you can press the escape button on your keyboard to take you back so let's work in full screen mode at the moment and what we see is by clicking our left mouse button and holding we can rotate and position ourselves in the in the room scene here in front of a pillow if I click on the left arrow over here it will take us to the mug and uh, likewise we can just keep scrolling between the two objects there's only two simple objects in the scene at the moment if I use my left mouse button again I can look around the mug and if I want to zoom in or out just use the scroll wheel in the center of your mouse and if you want to pan move left and right or up and down use the right mouse button and hold that to move up and down and so on and so forth if you get lost with the product at any point in time there's a little um, home sort of centralized button here which if you press takes you back to the object okay so if we click on the mug itself it brings up this uh, option on the left hand side here for the size of the mug and if we click on the drop down we've got two sizes of mug at the moment 11 ounce or a 15 inch a 15 ounce if i click on the 15 ounce it brings up the bigger mug <clears throat> and it's some predefined basic text uh, on here already the default information if i'm happy with what i've got i can design the mug by clicking on design up in the uh, top here click on design that opens up uh, a two-dimensional design area on the right hand side it's opened up a color palette on the left hand side and it's kept our 3d view that we can still look around in uh, within the scene so what we'll do is we'll very quickly draft up a, a, a mug design uh, just to show you how it's done uh, if I click on the current logo that's there I can either leave that there I can scale it make it bigger or smaller as you can see it changes on the mug in real time uh, I'm going to delete that off as a layer so I've pressed the uh, little bin button down on the right here delete the layer OK and I may want to keep the text because I want to write my name on the mug so I'll type down here James James's mug just as a test and you've got basic text features make it bold uh, make it larger if you want to change the font brings up a little font window over here and we can change it to suit whatever you like you can also change the text color and simple basic features like that we can reposition that we can zoom in a little bit more close the font uh, window can change the color ones we can see a little bit more what's going on very simple stuff with the text now <clears throat> If I want to add an image, uh, I click on add image down here and it will open up a folder which I've just got on the desktop at the moment and I've put a few basic images in here, pictures and a couple of coffee type brands. Um, the, the logos or anything else, uh, if you do them as PNG with transparent backgrounds, they'll layer and you can see things through them and so on and so forth. So if I upload uh, uh, just a normal photograph that will position itself at the moment over the top of my text because it was the next layer to bring in and it shows us here just under the plus symbol that we've got an image and a text and it will 
it will keep adding to this uh, list down the right as layers over the top of each other. If I want that to be the background, then click on Tools. Gives me a, a bit more info here. Select the order, select down. That's now at the bottom underneath my text. Now, if I scale the image up by pressing on the handles here, <clears throat> it's self cropping within the window itself. So I can uh, just zoom out on the mug, move it around a bit, get rid of the fine tune in here, just scale that all the way up. So now we've got our graphic wrapped neatly all the way around the position of the mug that is um, that is printable. Uh, the text isn't that easy to read anymore, so perhaps change that to white. Just bring the bring that back to make it easy. Obviously, you can play around and neaten up the position of things uh, as much as you like. But very simply, that's my name over the top of an image, and if you was satisfied with that and that was it then the next objective is to save it saves the design itself um, we can then very simply or what what I would request you guys to do as a test is to click down here on the right hand side and this first little share uh, button click on that click on link what that does is it creates a URL here as a copy link so if we copy that it's now copied to your clipboard and if you go back out of the application in this case I'll press escape and then you could go into um, Outlook or Gmail or whatever you use simply paste the copied link in an email to us we will then be able to open exactly what you see on screen here and we can download the artwork uh, to be able to create the object or pass it on to the company in, in whoever would be printing the object in, as, a, as a different scenario so that's a very very simplistic way of creating this mug nice and easy you can see it uh, 360 degrees you can see exactly what you're getting and depending on the the quality of the images you've uploaded you can zoom in and see you know a relatively good amount of detail on the item okay I can go back into design I don't have to share at this moment in time the other button here the eye the second one in simply shuts everything off all of your design areas and everything so you can see the object with no, no distractions and the one on the right here is just a tutorial or a feedback menu which we're working on so I'll carry on designing my mug the other thing I can do uh, just to show you that the, the brand images and logos and other things can be uploaded I can go back in choose a Costa uh, logo that brings that in as uh, our third layer in the design area now if I move that over here I can rotate the mug and go into a point where I think I want to be able to see that maybe on that point there click out just to stop the image being highlighted or the logo being highlighted add another one add Starbucks do the same again maybe on the other side just bring that round to there <clears throat> you can scale these you can uh, change the dimensions just by moving things around and you can rotate if you wanted to just on these little buttons here and if you want to fine tune uh, to get these exactly right there is a fine tune function here which brings up a, a little slider of size you can type in a, a value here keep the ratio to one or, or or double it up to two as an example you can change the angle or you can type the angle in so if I put that back to zero it should start where we were I can just fine tune by pressing the arrows or the arrows on the keyboard will move the image around or if I wanted that bang on in the center of the uh, mug in this case so just press the center button and it's moved it straight into the middle for us so I'll just plunk that back there just as a point of point of showing you what's going on um, we can uh, what, what happens here as well is if, if we've added uh, a varied range of logos to our library they will be displayed down here there's some other shapes uh, you can add, uh, for, uh, add as many different things as you want to the library um, to put on the design. Uh, the plus button here simply loads an image or a text that you've already got. So the images that we've already got in our library, we don't have to upload a new one. Um, and it will default bring up the same logo that you used last time. 
uh, if you click on another one down here just overwrites it or it could be an image so just to just to play around a little bit change that to a cat instead maybe put the cat on the on the actual mug itself why not uh, click out of that add one of the other images that we've got from before uh, maybe a horse put that down zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing put the horse on that side of the mug and if we wanted to duplicate the the horse we can copy and we can paste which is pasted over the top of where the horse is at the moment but if I go to tools and I mirror horizontally that turns the horse over the top and I can also flip it over to the other side of the, the design area so we've got basically a mirror of the same horse on both edges there uh, we can also add maybe a dog and have him sitting in the coffee beans so there's no limit to what you can do in the design area this isn't designed as a full Photoshop Illustrator scenario but it does cover all the simplistic things and you're left with the mug or the object um, as you see fit um, so what you, you can do I can change uh, change the color maybe make that red uh, or a vanilla color uh, color libraries being increased and uh, be Pantones and other things that can be chosen from we can save that and just again copy the link press copy copies it to the clipboard paste that uh, link into an email and we will be able to create exactly what you see on here uh, as you've done it um, just to show you one or two other things uh, you can you know we could delete the background off delete the complete layer add another image uh, make it something completely different doesn't have to be anything to do with coffee that's now over the top of all the other images but literally with tools fine tune centralize we've created a, a happy flowers mug within a couple of seconds and that easy job done uh, clearly we wouldn't keep all the other layers we'd delete them off but if it was just a case of uploading an image that fits over the top nice and fine or if we want the text to be over the top I would just click that and go up 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 and we can see it moving up on the side here until it will eventually be over the top of the of the of the graphic we've uploaded okay um, one other option just get rid of that now yeah I think I've covered most basic things obviously we can uh, uh, go through things with different questions but that, that should have should covered all basic uh, bases on that uh, hopefully that's okay and uh, I'm sure there'll be questions to follow but thank you for looking and we'll go from there okay bye bye